A flexible assessment in Illuminate allows you to upload a test you already have, whether it's on a Google Doc, a Word document, or a PDF, so that students can take the assessment online. To begin, visit the Illuminate website and click Sign in with Google. Once you are logged into Illuminate, find the Create Flexible Assessment tile and click on it. If you do not have that tile, you can go to the left-hand side, click Assessments, then Create Assessment, and select Flexible. You will now be asked to input a title of the assessment. Type that in and click Create. Although it is not required, you can add a description, add tags, and add standards. If you want to add a description, click on Add Description. Please note that this text box does have a limit on the amount of characters you can input. When you have finished adding the description, click OK. If you want to add tags, click Add Tags. Although these are not mandatory, adding tags will help you filter and find assessments if you have several assessments created or shared with you in Illuminate. When you have finished adding tags, click on the X on the upper right hand side. To add standards, click Filter Standards. Since I selected science as well as fourth grade in my tags, it has selected the fourth grade science standards for me. I can then scroll through and select the standard or standards that align with this assessment. When you have finished selecting standards, click on the X on the upper right hand corner. Again, the description, tags, and standards are not mandatory but can be helpful for you. If you need to edit, you'll see a little pencil that you can click to edit. To upload your test, click on Upload Materials. You now have the option to select a file from your Google Drive or from your computer. If you are working on your desktop or your laptop and you have the file on it, you can simply drag and drop it here. I'm going to add a material or a test from my drive. You may get a pop-up to authenticate your account and allow permission for Illuminate to access your drive. Once your drive loads, select your test. I know the test is selected because I see a light blue highlighting on the title. You can now click Select at the bottom. What Illuminate will do is convert the document you upload into a PDF. This confirmation is important to note that since the document was converted into a PDF, any change that I make to my Google Doc after this moment will not be reflected in the PDF, and I will have to remove this PDF and re-upload the doc if I make any changes. As you can see, my material is now uploaded. To exit out, click the X on the upper right. Now I need to add an answer key. Looking back on the test, I notice that I have 10 multiple choice questions. So I want to click this little lightning bolt here at the bottom left, change that number to a 10, and they are all multiple choice, but please note that you can also add constructed response as well. If you do add a constructed response, know that you will have to go in and manually grade each one. When I am ready, I click Add. Now it's good to have the test handy so you can reference it back and forth to see how many answer choices you have and to select the correct answer. From my test, I see that only number four has five answer choices. The rest only have four. So to get rid of that fifth choice, I click on the arrow here, drop down, and I change my selection to A, B, C, D. I'll repeat that with the rest of them except for the one that has five answer choices. I now need to input the answers. To do so, just click the letter of the correct answer from your test. If an answer has more than one response, you can select them by clicking on them. If you find that you added too many questions, you can delete it by clicking the circle next to it. You then get this pop-up and you can click delete. You can also rearrange question answers, but just note that your answer key here needs to match whatever it is the students will be seeing in the material that you shared. To preview the test and see what your students will see, scroll all the way to the top and click on the magnifying glass on the upper right. A new tab will open with the test. Click Begin Test, and the test material you loaded will show, and students can scroll up and down, and the answer key will be on the right, where students can select answers and scroll as they go. If they see answer choices with checkboxes, that'll signal to them that it's select all that apply. To exit out of the preview, 
close that tab. When you have finished adding your testing material, adding the number of questions on the test, and selecting the answer choices for your answer key, on the upper right, click Done. Your assessment is now ready. What's great is that you can now share this assessment with your colleagues at your site. To do so, click Share. As you can see, it has not been shared with anyone yet. To share it with my colleagues, I can select User and type in the username one at a time. You can also select Grade Level and share it with your grade level at your site. You want to make sure you check Can Administer. This will allow your colleagues to also give the test. When you are ready, click Share. Your colleagues will now be able to see this assessment in Illuminate. Let's go back to our assessment to see how to administer this assessment to students. To administer this test to your students, click on Administer. Then you want to click Online Testing. Next, click Test with Quick Mode. You now want to click Edit here on the left to edit the testing window. To change the testing window start date, click on the calendar icon. You can then select a date from your calendar or type it here. You also want to set a start time and repeat to set a test window and date and time. Now you want to click Show next to Administration Settings. This will allow you to set a daily window if this test will be given over the course of more than one day. Click Daily Window and you want to set a start time and an end time. You can then determine how many pauses students get. The default is three. This particular test did not have a constructed response, but since we are giving this test online, if it did have a constructed response, you can leave it to online entry. Students would then type in their constructed response and you would have to grade the constructed responses through Illuminate. Here, you wanna make sure that the test booklet is the test material you uploaded. Then you want to click Save at the bottom. Here you can review the testing windows that you have set. As you can see, this yellow indicates that this test is pending. It will then change to green when the window opens and to red once the window has closed. Here on the right, you see an access code that students would use to take this test. Once your students have finished taking this test, if you wish to push this data into your ARIES gradebook, you can. To do so, click Administer. Here you see the option Push to ARIES gradebook. Click that. Please note that before you do this in Illuminate, you want to make sure that you have created the assignment in your ARIES gradebook. Once you have done so, select the gradebook, then select the assignment that you have already added to your gradebook. Click Submit, and the data will then be pushed into your ARIES gradebook. To see all of the assessments you have created in Illuminate, you want to click Assessments here on the left-hand side, then click View Assessments. You can then select Created by Me. You will then have a list of all the assessments you have created. If you would like to see assessments shared with you, click Shared with Me, and the assessments shared by your colleagues will appear there in that list. To view the specifics of the assessment, you can go ahead and click on the title of the assessment, and a new page will open with the information. To go back to the home page, click on the Illuminate logo. If you would like to see a guide with the steps and pictures on how to create a flexible assessment, please visit our website at digitallearning.mylusd.org. Click on Digital Learning, then Illuminate Education, and you will be taken to the page with resources on Illuminate, including the guide on how to create a flexible assessment.